Alright, here we go again, family. I hope you can see alright. God bless you, Bridlington. I'm here to tell you that God loves you. But time is running out for people to get saved because Jesus Christ is coming. Are you ready? Have you believed? Are you saved? The Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Are you ready? The only requirement for you to be saved with everlasting life and to go up to heaven in the rapture is to believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you need saving. You need forgiveness of sin. Because like the Bible says, we have all sinned and we all come short of the glory of God. God bless you. We all come short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everyone that believes. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you've done. The Lord Jesus has promised that I will not turn away anyone that comes to him. But please don't hesitate any longer because we are living in the final moments of the end of this age. And Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus said, except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. And if you're ashamed of Jesus Christ and of his words, he'll be ashamed of you and you won't make it to heaven. Instead, you'll find yourself in hell. That's why I'm here, to tell you that God loves you. Time is short. Accept Jesus today, please. It's not about being religious. You don't have to do anything for this salvation. It's the gift of God. It's not of our own good works, lest any man should boast. It's the gift of God. Please receive that gift of God by taking a step of faith reaching out and laying hold of your salvation and eternal security. This is a matter of life and death. It's a matter of heaven and hell. Whether or not you accept or reject the Lord Jesus, you will spend eternity in one of them too. You're not promised your next breath. Who's promised to wake up tomorrow? Nobody. And when you draw your last breath, that's it. You go into eternity, one of two places, heaven or hell. And there's only one name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved. It's the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, I am the way. Thank you. God bless. Can I pass you one of those, ma'am? I am the way, the truth, and the life, said the Lord Jesus. And no man comes to the Father but by me. God bless you, ma'am. God bless you, Bridlington. I've come here to tell you God loves you. Can I pass you one of those, sir? God bless you. All right. God bless you. Jesus loves you. I've come here to tell you good news. God bless you that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everyone who believes. Don't be ashamed of the Lord Jesus Christ because he'll be ashamed of you. The Bible says if we deny him, he will deny you. Can you imagine that? You get to, you get to heaven and Jesus says, I never knew you. Away from me into outer darkness, ye workers of iniquity. Can you imagine hearing those words? I never knew you by the Son of God because you didn't believe, because you didn't accept what Jesus Christ did for us on that cross. You need saving and you need forgiveness of sin. Because like the Bible says, the Bible is the holy word of God. It tells us that we have all sinned and we all come short of the glory of God. The Bible tells us the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God, which he wants to give you, the Bible says he wants to give everybody the gift of God, which is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everyone that believes. No matter who you are and no matter what you've done, turn to the Lord Jesus. He promised he will not turn you away. If you do one thing, God's only asking one thing of you, one thing only, and that is that you believe in your heart what the Son of God did for us. Because you need saving. If any man says he has no sin, he deceives himself and the truth is not in him. But if you humble yourself and recognise, of course I've sinned. Sin is the breaking of God's commandments. No, I'm not loud enough, ma'am. When you see what's coming upon this world, you will say, you will say to yourself, he should have spoken a lot louder. When you believe that Jesus Christ... Here, sir, can I pass you one of those, please? Oh, All right. You're not all right without the Lord Jesus because you're on the path to hell. That's the truth. Please repent, turn, change your mind and believe the gospel and you will be saved. 
so simple. God has made it so simple for everyone to be saved. God bless you, ma'am. Because God loves us. God loves his creation, but he's given you free will to either accept or reject the gift of God, the free gift of God, which is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Don't be one of the many who only find out how real hell is when you land there. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your house. Can I pass you another, sir? Please. God bless you. God bless you. Can I pass you another, mate? No. Are you anti-Christ? Yes. Yes. Oh, you're on the devil's side. Then that means you'll be cast into the lake of fire where there's weeping and wailing, where people are utterly consumed with terrors. That's the truth. So how long have I been on for money for God bless you, Bridlington. Jesus loves you. I'm here to tell you the, the truth, the way, the truth and the life is the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you deny him, then you go into hell. That's the truth. If you reject the, the Son of God, please, God bless you. If you reject the one and the only one who can save your soul and write your name in the book of life and write your name in heaven, then where else can you expect to go? God doesn't want any to perish. God wants all to be saved. But hurry up, because Jesus Christ is coming. This world is in for a rude awakening, I'm telling you now. This world is going to be turned upside down, just like it says in the holy scriptures of God. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down. This is what's coming, the apocalypse period. And if you're not in Christ, you'll be left behind when the Lord Jesus descends from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God. And he gathers up into heaven all who have ever believed on him in what's commonly referred to as the rapture. And you'll be left behind to face seven years when hell from beneath is coming up onto the surface during the seven year great tribulation apocalypse period. Jesus said that men's hearts are going to faint from fear when they see what is coming upon this world. This is why I urge you to repent, change your mind and believe on Jesus Christ. You'll be taken up to heaven in the rapture. Can I pass you on earth, sir? You reject the Lord Jesus, I'll tell you something, if you reject the Lord now, you'll, you'll pull your hair out when you witness all these babies, children and believers suddenly caught up to heaven, disappeared off the face of the world and you find yourself left behind, the missiles come down and it all starts. Please believe on the Lord Jesus Christ while you still can, otherwise you're going to be absolutely gutted that you didn't believe, I'm telling you now. Time is running out, and if you laugh, and if you mock, that's okay. You're fulfilling Bible prophecy. Jesus was a criminal, that's why. Was he a criminal, him. was he? Oh, okay. They crucified anybody who was a criminal. Hey, mate, I've talked to you before, haven't I? Have I? Yeah, pass you one of those, mate. At least you, you're humble enough to accept, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> There's the things people come out with, though. God bless you, Bridlington. Time is running out, Jesus Christ is coming. Fuck off. <laughs> Just listen, Bridlington. God loves you. I've come here to tell you that time is short. Get on board the ark of salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. That ark is Jesus Christ and it's about to set off. Don't be left behind because you rejected the love of the truth. Because you rejected the Lord Jesus Christ. Please believe and get... God bless you, ma'am. Can I pass you with us, please? Thank you. God bless you, people. Jesus loves you. Can I pass you with us, sir? God bless you. The only requirement for you to be saved, enter into heaven, is to believe the good news, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you, ma'am. Believe the gospel and you will be saved. You need saving and forgiveness of sin. Because like the Bible says... We have all sinned, we all come short of the glory of God. The Bible says the wages, penalty, the end of sin is death. That means hell. You, you reject the Lord Jesus and I'm telling you now where you're going. Hell, outer darkness. I don't want that. God doesn't want that. God wants all to be saved. The Bible says God wants all to be saved. The Bible also says all can be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Please be a whosoever, we're running out of time. 
were so close to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, he could come right this second. The Lord himself will descend from heaven and he won't touch down on the earth. He'll descend and appear in, in the heavens above and draw all believers up to him in the rapture, in a twinkling of the eye. All babies, all children under the age of accountability, accountability will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And then this world is going to be turned upside down with famine, starvation, war and death. This is what's coming. The Holy Word of God is true. Everything, everything that is written in the Holy Word of God will come to pass. If you reject the Lord Jesus now, you're in for a rude awakening and you're in for a shock. If you think things are bad now, wait until Jesus descends from heaven, takes all believers and little babies and children up to heaven, and then this world will erupt into World War III, a war the likes of which we've never seen before will break out. The Bible says in the first part of the seven year great tribulation apocalypse that two billion people are going to lose their lives. In, in World War Three, in, sorry, in World War Two, it was approximately 70 million. This time it's going to be two billion people. You think about the technology they have and the weapons they have now. Can I pass you one of those, mate? Sure. This world is going to be burnt. The Bible says all green grass will be burnt up. The Bible says all trees will be burnt up. The Bible says it's going to be hell. The bottomless pit is going to be opened. And these creatures are coming out of the bottomless pit. And I'm trying to tell you, believe on Jesus now and you'll be taken up to heaven, out of harm's way, before all this happens. Please, I'm urging you, don't wait. Don't be one of the many who just have to... Uh, See it to believe it. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ now. If the last couple of years wasn't enough to show you what time it is, the time of the end, what more do you need to see? Are you one of the ones that are going to literally have to see the missiles coming down before you will believe that we are in the end? Please, people, I urge you to wake up. Wake to righteousness. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. God's only looking at your heart. He only wants to know if you will accept his free gift of salvation, eternal life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God, the free gift of God, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is available for anybody and everybody. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. You reject Jesus, I'm sorry to tell you, but you will go to hell into outer darkness weeping and wailing, utterly consumed with terrors, just like the Bible says. Please repent. God is calling all people to return unto him. Repent, repent. The Lord says, Re return unto me and I will return unto you. God is so merciful. He'll pour out his love, his grace, his mercy upon you and you'll wonder why you haven't believed before. God bless you, Bridlington. I'll stop this one, guys.